Magata, Jan Corla, August Tawthorn, Deshoil, couple of Fokker Rod, the Milisha, and Billa Slancha, Shadivishi Fortunate, Turkish, Krishna, Rochtan, Savata. As I know, it's Kesh Kastesh or Mar Tencherashka Bunchest, Shishin Kenur or Hossians and Bahadena. August Toshijokar Sanvino, Ianer Shin, Aharnoia, my shedding took a dinner day on it, or now I'm going into who? Bakjarka wine at, my shedding to not dinner day on it, or no, Bakjarka Ella Agat. August Tainchishingo, Cree Keshta, Taharva Casta, is there Gujarki, three yark a data raw, a Darlumsa. So bubble. He chewed a shed in a gomer bag of Fajer, Ginvili Yana, as he chewed a shed in Tivstiga Hermi, Anachta Shishen Gobean, Kushitala Ginvil, and Nila Mahar Hawai. He shed me Rio Goro, Go Ginvil Vinchen, Ach Lebaha Ahawai, Ernoia, Sagas Oide Chen, Credin Chiotson. Go na kart kin vili yana. Agus tadini aon ikshed yana agus tering harta tiu chid freshen e e gas ni aidet kumi kart kin vili e kado akumi kart kumak trianta. The issue of abortion is quite a complex issue, and as I said in Irish, you could divide the population into three thirds. Those that believe that. Abortion is a legitimate and correct thing to do with very, very little restriction whatsoever. Those, and I think they're about a third, according to opinion polls in the Irish Times, a third that believe that abortion should be legal but with restrictions, and a third who would oppose abortion if abortion's purpose is, as said in the Act, for the purpose of killing the fetus. In other words, the argument about the life of the mother doesn't arise in a case like that because if the purpose is to save the mother, it's not abortion according to the Act. Now, each person to their own conscience, each person to their own beliefs. I think it's important that I respect Deputy Batrick's beliefs, which wouldn't be shared by me. I'd also hope that she can share my deep concern or what I consider to be human life. Now, we're not here to debate abortion in itself, but we are here to debate a bill about safe access zones. And there are a number of wider issues, I think, that arise here. I don't know if this is the first time, and maybe the Minister could advise me, that we have brought in legislation Outlawing, no matter how peaceful it is, certain types of protests or actions, but allowing any other action you want to take in terms of protests outside the same buildings. And we let's give an example. What happens if, for argument's sake, there's a pro amend the law to liberalise it, march in Dublin, which is trying to persuade people to allow more abortion, and it marches down Dublin, and it marches past a whole lot of medical clinics. Is that breaking, going to be breaking the law? If they had a pro-life march downtown, arguing for the same, in other words, for the opposite, but arguing over the same subject, will that be? Well, where in the law does it say that if you're trying to persuade something, so they're holding bar bar banners up saying, protect human life, don't have an abortion and so on, which is trying to persuade people. That's what the whole idea of protest is. It's coming past maybe hospitals, but more definitely past clinics. Now, the second thing I think, basic rule of law, and it nothing to do with the specific issue, is I think you bring in law if you're advised that there's a need for the law is it correct that in September 2019,
Garda Commissioner Drew Harris wrote to the then Minister for Health to advise that the existing public order legislation is adequate to deal with the kind of protests witnessed at hospitals and clinics to date, and that the introduction of exclusion zones would be redundant because of the existing current laws and the fact that no incident of criminality has been reported or observed. Now, that's the second basic principle that I would always say about law, is don't introduce it if it's not necessary. Because every law has unintended consequences and restrictions. I absolutely agree that nobody should be hassled going to a doctor's clinic or going to a hospital or whatever. There's no question about that. But the question is, do they not have the power already to stop that? But in reality is, if you take, for example, all the doctor's clinics in the country, so nobody knows what anybody's going into the clinic for. If I take the, the, the talk about rural clinics, well, certainly in my experience at the rural clinic, nobody knows your business. They might know you, but they wouldn't know your business if you went in to see the doctor. And therefore, the idea that people could be targeted, because it seems to me this law was written with abortion clinics in mind, a la the range of Britain. So I do think that we need to tease this bill out. I hope that you won't try rush it through the House. I've always had a fetish about rushed legislation of any type. I think it's a very, very bad habit. I'd hope we would take a very detailed look at this, go through it line by line, now that we have the legislation, and that you will bring it into committee and that whatever time needs to be taken would be taken so that we don't have a whole lot of unintended consequences and bad precedents in relation to other forms of protest over other things that, might be, that this might be used as a, a precedent for. So I, I have to say I do think that uh, this is more to satisfy a lobby group than to solve a real problem existing in society. Because, as I said, it would appear that the Gardaí don't think that they need this power, and they're always looking for power, as you and I know.